Hey, wanna listen to some tunes? Hello, everyone. How, how, how's everyone doing? <coughs> ah. I am ever, ever so subtly sick. Just like the kind of top of my throat, like right at, like right, right at like the top of my tonsils. I feel like a, ugh, just like a little bit of snot. But other than that, I'm decent. I don't want to like destroy my throat though, so I should probably I, I I honestly I should probably have gone to the store and gotten some cough drops or something like that. Or like gargle some salt or something like that. I don't know. I'm just gonna have a <coughs> Jesus. I'm my roll of Mentos belt fucking fell in my cup. Um I'll I'll just have some like mints or whatever like that. That that'll help a little bit. Um, uh, also on top of that, I don't have any tissues, so <laughs> I'm, I'm just sort of stuck using toilet paper. So, well, just, a little, just a little bit, a little bit underprepared. I didn't really think I would, you know, be getting sick again anytime soon. I just got over like, 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 I just got over like a sinus infection. Not only like, what, a couple of weeks ago. I have, I had this the sinus infection that I've been dealing with for the past, you know, however long. And it finally went away. Now I'm getting sick again. Ugh. But aside from being somewhat sick, um, I'm 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 doing fine. Um, you know, it's it's not it's not too bad. So, 
Let's see here now. Suppose I can get started. Let me put this on loop. There we go. Don't have to worry about that going bad anytime soon. Ugh. Probably don't need my glasses. It's I'm looking at a screen. It's it's gonna mess up my eyesight if I if I keep doing that. All right, so it should be this one. There we go. So what I have been needing to do, um, I need to take for a commission. Um, I need to take this character and I need to give her an IK rig because we are going to be putting her in a pre-rendered environment, which is this. Uh, hold on. If I could take this, this is the holdout. I need to hold on. I could, there we go. Let me get rid of that. We have this sort of pre-rendered scene that I've kind of built here, and I posted this on Twitter a while back. Um, we can even see it here in the sequencer. We have this sort of pre-rendered area, and what we're going to do for the commission is to superimpose in uh, this character that I've um, made months and months ago. And let's see here. Let's see if I can. Hey, Vin. Uh, oh, I'm so bad. Venin no virus. Hello. How's it going? Okay. So we need to impose our character into this scene. Hello. Oh, hey, Crystal Claude. How's it going? Yeah. You doing all right? There we go. I, I feel my uh, the sun outside is overexposing me. Okay, so we were going to. Where is it? There's a. This is this is the one. You doing all right? All right. So the character is going to be imposed like this, dealing with the Unity bugs. Oof. Yeah. That shit can be a pain in the ass. So yeah, as we can see, she's going to be imposed into the scene like this. And the way... Hey, Undead Spades. Jeez, I, haven't, I don't think I've seen you in a while. <clears throat> ah. There you go. <laughs> So what are you working on, uh, Crystal? Uh, okay, okay, for a second I thought my chat wasn't on. Ah. Seem to have made a double at this scene. So yeah. So effectively what we're doing is we have this scene, the pre-render, and what we would do is we will utilize the 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 same scene that we've made and convert everything that's in it into a holdout what platform with the friend it do oh nice um we're gonna take the scene as you can see here if i can it's gonna take a second ah hold on Is keeping in contact with the commissioner. She's happy with it. Okay, that's good. So what we do to make this scene work is so we have the pre-render, everything that's here. It's rendered out on the sequencer, so that way there's no further processing power needed. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this scene and then we convert it all to holdout, which means uh, any... Uh, any what's the word any perspective it, it, it utilizes the same perspective as the original scene but as we move the character around 
we can move her around. You can see right there, you can see where the outline of their objects that are still in the scene kind of about. So, <clears throat> so we're, we're rendering this and removing the character's render whenever it overlaps in terms of perspective. And then what we would do is we'd have this rendered and then in the sequencer, we would overlap what we have here. Um, it would go, it would go in between the vignette and, actually, let me rename this. There we go, that's the loading text. Um, probably combine these together. This is the that's the pre-render. And yeah. So that's all loading and then here is where we would put the character. So we can go into a render. We have a character overlay. This is the test render. We just put that right there and you can see how it looks. A bit too warm. I'm wrapped up in a blanket. By the way, Undead Spades, uh, what, what have you been up to? I haven't, I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. So, so that's the character. So for this to work, the character needs to be moving around in the um, this layer, overlapped on top of the pre-render, and actually, do I want? You know, I think it looks better over the pre-render. Learning how to use Godot properly. Yeah, I, I don't know how to use any game engine, unfortunately. I just don't really feel inclined to want to make games. I've tried, but I'm not. As, as much as I have a degree in what I'm supposed to, uh, informatics is what I got it in. It's like basic programming. Um, I'd never you stuck with it or utilized it or kept up with research or whatever. I was, um, <clears throat> I should have, you know, pursued this. Unfortunately, I did not. Okay. Okay, so we understand how all this sort of comes together. And now we're coming back to this because we need to give this character um, the proper rig because we only have a generic deformation rig and that's not necessarily fantastic for animating. Uh, if I needed to do any other intricate motion other than just like straight, you know, um, just straight motion like this, it's not going to go so well. Um, so we are going to have to give it some movement. Um, I don't think I'm going to go all out like I've done before with like stretching, but like stretch bones and like tweak bones. There's no real reason, real reason to do that. There's no squash and stretch that's going to happen. So it's a, it's going to be a very reserved animation almost like uh, if I could have mo-capped it that would be the easiest way but that's that's just not in the cards not that I would have any way to do that in the first place I don't got any anything that would be able to allow me to do that okay so first things first I want to rename all these bones and give them a deformation uh, the prefix uh, def <clears throat> so we're going to give them a prefix and a VDEF with a little hyphen. 
and that should give. Well, first of all, I have to set this to bones. There we go. And I am going to want it if I can deselect the root bone and the um, center of gravity bone. Let me do that again. Man. What? There we go. And then that prefix. There we go. So now all these are set with the prefix to designate them uh, what, what their primary purpose is. Hmm. You know, I'll, ah, oh my God. Hey, Geneva, Horatio 01. That, that, that was deafening. Jesus. Can I turn that down? My goodness. Hold on. Is there no music playing? Hold on. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Hey, API, da API Daddy. You know, I did I did the, the whole thing in the fucking beginning with this, right? I did this whole hey. joke. Want to listen to some tunes? And and then there was no fucking music playing. Shit. Man. Shit, I'm, I'm getting kind of warm. I think I need to take my shirt off. Uh, what am I doing? Um, I explained this a hot second ago, but basically, for a commission, uh, this person, uh, another streamer, actually, commissioned me to make a pre-rendered uh, scene for their uh, beginning, for their little intro. I did, like, I have this for myself, right? I have this little loading screen that I play when I'm, like, BRB or when I'm um, uh, just starting up or about to go or whatever. <clears throat> And um, they wanted to do it in the style of like Resident Evil or Silent Hill. And that requires um, a little bit more effort than what I did. Um, I, um, let's see if I can find it. I did this. So this is what their, um, this is what they wanted for their loading screen, so to say. And what I have to do is, what I ha now that I have the pre-render, I have to superimpose in the character on top of it. Um, and that, where's the character? There it is. And that would look a bit like this. So we have the pre-render in the back, and then she's placed on top of it, and that is done through the sequencer that I'm using. Oh, no, I didn't mean to use that, no. So we have the pre-render here, synced up to the loading screen message, as that plays out on top, and then the character would be placed right here in channel four. Okay. So we're going back to the character. We now need to Oh, oh you're in the you're in the Discord. That's cool. Yeah. You know what? Uh, this blanket's making me uncomfortable. I'm going to fucking like chuck this somewhere. There we go, I got a cushion now instead of a blanket. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. Right 
right over my shirt with my chair. So what are you working on in API, Daddy? Ah, uh, yes, Daddy. Um... Yeah, I... Got fucking thrown way out of track. Um, and I need to get working on this. So I don't think I want to give any extra controls for the hair. It's it's meant to animate for itself. It's got wiggle bones. Uh, that's just how it's gonna be. <clears throat> there we go. So we need to set this up. And okay. I want these to be on their own layer. Let's put them, I don't know, just here for now. And this bone here and this bone here, we'll put them right there. There we go. Watching Blender Udemy courses, modeling a crate since it's been a while since I've used Blender. How intricate a kit, uh, uh, how intricate, yeah, intricate of a crater are we talking about? Okay. Pelvis that does that. What does that? It's been a hot minute since I've actually done rigging, so I'm slight, I'm slightly rusty. I need to get into, get back up to speed. Don't think this technically needs to, is this even a deform bone? It does deform. Yeah. That's a little bit, that's not good. What's that blue tag? I don't, I don't know what that is. Hold on. Yeah, that's, that's not good. One second. We're just going to take a brush like that, sample that, and we'll just... There we go. Good enough? All right, so it seems that the waiting to the skirt is wrong. Is the pelvis? Oh, no, that's... Oh, okay. There's an extra bit of skirting under there. Okay, I see what's... I see how that's working. Hmm. Well, for this to work, the waiting should be done and fully working before I get any... go any further. Form upper leg R. Let's try that. Assign that there. That has extra weighting from the hip, I imagine. Ah, it has weighting from the left as well. Well. Wow. 
give me a hot second. There we go, and remove that from the room. I might have done the wrong thing. I did the I, I did the lower leg R. No no no. Upper leg R and remove. There we go. <clears throat> it seems I never weighted this correctly when I did it the first time. That's cool. Um well, I'm gonna have to completely reweight it then. But at the least, it's. I'm back. Sorry, it's complete blender course from game dev TV team. I'm not familiar with that one. So yeah, that's completely weighted wrong. But this isn't. So this somehow gained weighting from that side. Yeah, this, this somehow gained weighting from the upper leg. Did I accidentally select this when I was waiting just a second ago? There's still going to be instances where I could probably use um, blend keys to make that work better. Hey, dude, some low poly Harry. Wait. Hey, dude, some low poly Harry Potter kids are raiding your server with big wall, <laughs> wall of Chinese characters. Also, cruel scribble knots music. What the fuck is this? Like, that, that is a just a stream of information. Low poly Harry Potter kids are raiding your server with a big wall of Chinese characters? What? Oh! Oh, that's not good. Hold up. You motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Strap atrocious? I didn't... When you... The, when you said raid, I didn't realize you meant, like, server raiding. I didn't re... I thought you were talking about Twitch raiding. I was like, what the hell? I didn't get a notification for a raid. And, uh, yeah. Apparently. Yeah. What the fuck is this shit? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Fuck off. <laughs> you fucking trolls. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking assholes. Put the stuff they wrote in translation, it's something about penises. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's cock. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, they got their, their fucking... They, they picked the time when I was live on stream to do that. Fuck assholes. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Hold on. Oh, fuck that hair. <laughs> Anything else? 
I'm gonna check the other channels just to make sure. Ah, there's one. Is he already banned? Hey, Hattie Carrington. Get the fuck out of here. Like, for whatever reason, this isn't getting deleted, so I'll just, like, manually delete it or whatever. Yeah, sure, they report it, too. Um, yeah, go for spam. Yeah, sure. I mean, they might be. It's possible. Man. It, 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 like, it won't delete itself. Like, Discord has shit the bed now. Oh, I am morbidly curious. I wonder if this, like... Here. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google Translate this over here. See what happens. If it's anything particularly awful, I, I won't read it. Why am I even giving this the fucking time of day? I don't even know. Yeah, thank God it wasn't like gore fucking shit like that just some kids doing some trolling yep there's some more <laughs> king boo that's very nice Here. We're just gonna go through the rest of these and make sure there's no more spam. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Yeah. Yeah, we got raided. All right, I'm gonna we're we're gonna read this off real quick. This is a fucking shit post. Oh, that's foul, actually. I can read this part. Jack has a big cake. Life is ongoing process that will end one day. To live to, is to worship yourself. To create yourself a word for a word for you. Life can only underground understood backward but must be lived forward. Life itself is a golden opportunity to be living meaningful to support others to do so. This won't happen if you don't pass this on. I mean, that's wholesome and whatnot, but then the first sentence is, I have big dick when you suck it, start bleed like your mom grew doom, it will live on forever. What? We gonna bring fucking, what, minions into this shit? I don't even know why I'm reading this. It's such a fucking stupid waste of fucking time. Why, why did I waste my time doing that? There was literally no reason. <laughs> Would now be a bad time to join the Discord server. No, I got everything cleared up now. <clears throat> but like... Yeah, we could probably spare to have a little bit more security measure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is like the first time something like that wildly happened. It did, it, it had to happen right as I'm streaming too, right? Okay.
All right, now to actually sit down and focus on what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Blow my nose real quick. Again, I don't have tissue paper. I don't have toilet paper. All right, so what I was supposed to be doing is I was supposed to be making a... a damn uh, layering system for my rig. So what we have to do, we're going to take all these bones, we're gonna duplicate them and then move them to a new layer, we'll just this layer. We go here with all these bones and these bones need to be renamed. So we're gonna replace um, the EF with, um, I guess we'll do mechanical. Cause these are gonna be storing the um, transfer data of the IK and the FK. So we do that. And then to get rid of that extra stuff on the back, we'll do from end and then we'll digits and punctuation there we go so all these bones now have their own new wow cool voice technology mm, yes <laughs> it's been a while since someone has done that one <laughs> all in the voice by the way no no technology I don't even know why I decided one day just to make it a thing. I guess just the novelty of being able to do that voice. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> Wait, what? Ah, shit, I didn't mean to accidentally copy. That's not supposed to be in this layer. I want to offer... Hi, I want to offer promotion to your channel. Oh, dude, we got... Oh! Fuck out of here. How do I fucking kick this shit clown? Hmm. You there. How do I... That? What? The AI, it's real. Why can't I fucking, like, moderate from the... You know what? Fucking... I, this is... I should have done this. One second. We're just getting fucking bamboozled all day now. One second. This is ridiculous. Hey, that clown was a close friend of mine. We go back to kindergarten. What the fuck am I supposed to do anything? How the fuck do I moderate? Bruh. God, this is so shit. Guest star. I can fucking block him, but I can't kick him. Wait, is that how you do it? Was that was that blocking from the chat? Activate options in the cogwheel menu? Oh my god. I feel like a moron. Oh wait, that this? Shield mode? This is so stupid. Manage moderation settings. This is so shit. Got appearance. No.
Go moderator actions. I'm so sorry. Low mode. Oh, is that it? Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. I got it. I, I, <clears throat> it was show my, uh, it was show moderator actions. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's been fucking hectic. Jesus. Ridiculous is what it is. Okay. So we're going to move that to this layer. Is there anything? Oh, I think. Is that the. Oh, okay. It's okay not understanding technology. I feel like a boomer sometimes. That's yeah, fine. It's more of the I feel bad that I keep like all the, the litany of random shit that's been happening. The, the 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 Discord raid and the stream raid. This is wild. Um. Okay. So this should be the deformed bones. That should be that's the hair. That's the hips, the and the center of gravity. This one. Is there anything here? Yeah. Okay. That layer does not need to exist. Because this is the layer that exists. Now I can work on it. Okay. We're gonna save. And we can actually do the thing now. <laughs> okay. Find and replace, do that, deformation and mech bone, and then we strip it of the punctuation and digits. The fact some Galaxy Brain Dev on Twitch decided that moderation should be off by default for... That's a very fair point. Yeah, I had to go into, like, the fucking super secret fucking admin log just to find the options to kick people. Like, what the fuck? Like, if there could have been something really heinous happening. Like, you know, just... It would have been really bad. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to take the deformed bones and bind them to the mechanical bones. So that way, when I move them, uh, the mechanical bone, the, the deformed bones follow the mechanical bones. Um, so I would be, I would select, let's set these to octahedral. There we go. It's a little bit more visible. Okay, so we have deformed bone selected, hit the mechanical bone, and I think it would be control. Uh, no control shift C shift C ah uh, alt C fuck I don't know what the hot key is to um the control T control oh I'm in edit mode I'm a fucking idiot no wonder why it isn't working all right and that would be copy transforms so when I'm in just this mode I have the mechanical bone selected. I think I've done it in the incorrect uh, way. I, I I bound the mechanical bone to the other. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Let's do this instead. Let's like pose this. There we go really crappy little pose and then I should be able yep that's how we do it
curto. Being a PS1 graphics, I got conflicted in I got conflicted info in Crash was rig modeled or was animated using something like shape keys. I think he was animated strictly through shape keys. He did not have a rig as far as I'm aware. So Yeah, as far as I understand, he every, every action that he had was done via like tweening uh, vertices as opposed to a rig as far as I'm aware I, I think a little bit I have a, I'm not I don't have chills but it like I at the beginning of the stream I said I had like this thing at the top of my throat like right right here like right above my tonsils and it's a little bit in my the back of my sinuses Oh, I wonder why. Uh, for what? What are you, what are you wondering about? Are you talking about the, uh, why would they use, um, vertex, why would they use vertex, um, blending instead of a rig? Wrong way. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I would suspect the reason being is that a rig is rigid, whereas if you just use straight blend keys, you can make as many as you want, and uh, you can utilize squashing and stretching without the limitations of having to work with bones. Because I, I don't know if you could have done both. Uh, that's my assumption. But if what it, if if the statement that they did not use a rig is true and they used strictly blend shapes, um, that would allow them the versatility to to manipulate every individual point on the character to however they wanted it. Not sure what kind of tool you would use to do that, but you know that that is the versatility it would give you. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're gonna take this, duplicate this, and then move it to the next layer. That there is going to be the FK layer. On the other hand, you could have rigged him in production and baked it into shape keys. That's an idea. Uh, I don't think it's, it's possible. There we go. Okay. So this here, we're going to need to replace. Um, replace the mechanic prefix with. Um, oh, so it's more cartoony like that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you can really rubber hose him if you had the full control of every vertex. Oopsies. There we go. And then... Strip characters. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And replace mech with... I... I... Okay. And then strip the prefixes, uh, the suffixes. There we go. And then what we need to do, we're basically going to do what we did with the deformed bones and bind the mechanical bones to the FK and IK, respectively. So... Let's do it like this. We'll T pose. There we go. Let's 
There we go. I do recall watching an interview or something about Insane Trilogy where they mentioned that Crash's squashing and stretching was a bit of a challenge with modern workflow. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet it was. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have tried with um, a, 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 a friend's project where I made a character animated and exported out to uh, Unity to use that way. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work at all. It was horrifying. It was bad. Is this Mother? This sounds like this is from, like, Mother 3. Okay. Okay, we have... <clears throat> oh, wait, this is Rigify. Fuck this shit. Ah! Oh no! Wait, it... Just... Yeah, that's that's under the Rigify tab. Get out of here. There we go. Uh... Okay. I, FK, I think FK is green, and then IK is red. There we go. And we have FK currently selected, assign that. How's the Discord doing? Not too bad. Okay. I just had to double check to make sure we didn't have a resurgency of what happened earlier. Okay. Whoop, wrong way. hell am I doing? Doing it wrong is what I'm doing. Hide the IK, bring in the FK, oh, or vice versa, however that be. Indeed. I'll have to look into that in here in a hot second. Alright. Where was it? Got the transform. Oh, wrong way. fuck's going on there? That's not supposed to happen. 
So this character has been weighted incorrectly. Where, how exactly is that waiting assigned there? What? That's assigned to the chest. Hold on, I'm perplexed here. Okay. Well, this shouldn't have any influence from the neck, like, at all. Like mono arms. <laughs> uh, so remove this entirely from the neck. I'm also going to remove this from the chest, and instead going to assign this to the hip. So... <laughs> well... Let me, let, me, let me remind myself how this is modeled. Could you please? Yeah. That, the neck is its own portion of the mesh. Right. That's what I thought. Uh, so this should not have any influence from the neck at all. I don't even know how it happened to begin with. And for whatever reason, the torso has no influence over the torso. sure the only way that those are connected are through th these faces here. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's probably why. Rocket science is easier than working with the uh, low poly stuff. Well, I would disagree with that. I'm not trying to, l I can't land on the moon with this thing. So that's pr probably why uh, this isn't working. Um, the, the fucking vertex group that's labeled for the bone did not inherit the name of the fucking vertex group. So that's cool. Um, this sh should work. It should work, and it not. It not work. That's cool. So there's a litany of fucking problems as to what the fuck happened. Is this even a fucking deformed bone? What's happening? It's not listed as a deformed bone. Why? Why? What the fuck? Why? Oh, you fucking twonk. Oh. You can make a moon in 3D and land on it. Oh, I see how it is. Okay, so is this a deformed bone now? Okay, it's deformed now. Yeah, it's a professional software moment. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever fucking reason, this doesn't work. Um, what the?
What? I do, I do not understand. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? It is assigned, right? Yeah, this has value. This has a fucking value. And <clears throat> uh, this is the deep. Wait, the folk? Wait. Why? Okay, so that does have influence. Pelvis is doing its job. Oh, yeah, I should also. These are not for deformation. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. This is ridiculous. What the fuck? Okay, so it's not influenced by anything at all. Aside from that. God, it's like a fucking Cronenberg monster. Oh, wait, hold. Oh. It's listed as deformed chest, but it's torso. Okay. Fucking semantics. A. I don't know when. Okay. So at some point or another, the chest bone must have not been, become, not been a deformed bone. For some reason, I don't know when or why, but when I renamed the deform, when I renamed the bones, because it wasn't a deform bone, it didn't rename the vertex group, and that cascaded up to now to fuck me like this. Man, what the fuck? But it's working now. God, it took me an entire fucking hour just to get to this. Uh, this should have only taken five minutes. Let's save now. I need to go take a hot break. I am out of water and I would like another mint. So I'm gonna be right back. Let me turn off my mic for a hot second.
All right, I'm back. Got my water. All right. Yeah, there we go. Now we can get back into setting up the actual IK. Uh, okay, so the way this is going to work. These all need to be separated. There we go. And I guess... We'll just parent them to the root bone. Seems simple. They, should, they can move all about, but they still rotate and follow that. So if we just give this an inverse kinematic, that should work. I think it works. It does, yes, but it needs to be altered. Chain length two? No, just chain length of one because it affects, we only need the direct bone up above. Unless I'm wrong. No, it is chain length of two. Don't worry, we're 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 gonna make things better. It's gonna be cursed for a hot minute, but it'll be fine. There we go. There we go. We have some IK happening there. Okay, now we need to add pole bones, so that way the IK can bend in the correct manner. Actually, now that I think about that, I don't think the knees need to be bent forward a hair. There we go. There we go. That should allow things to work better. That off. I don't know how perfect of a <clears throat> system I really want here. Um, so this should have That's no bueno. Okay, set the two. B bone? No, no, no. Stick. I don't know why it has such a weird angle. Normally it would just have like an angle of like negative 90 or something like that.
Let's see now if I... There's a way that I normally go about doing this. I think it's like this. Subdivide it. Delete that. And then... So how this would work, it would copy the location of this leg, and then copy the location of that leg. Focusing on the tail, and then set that to point. Set this influence to 0. 0.5, and then it will track two. Wait, is that it? Plant was damped track, that's what it was. And then this is parented to. Select it, please. So I could pick this up. Yeah, and then regardless of the orientation of the ankle, it'll stay rotated. And then I think I parent this to the ankle. And then I can rotate it. Oh, let's turn that off for a second. Yeah, that seems to be right. That seems how it's done. So if I just take all that, oh. <clears throat> I should now be able to just Take all this and symmetrize it, and that should work the same. Ah, <laughs> uh, deleting it seems to have caused a problem. So we got the leg working correctly. All right, that's good. Gotta move on to the hands. We're basically gonna have a system exactly like how we did for the legs. Yeah, snotty. Ugh. Uh, could you please just select the point in the middle? 
Oh god. Okay. Copy location. Oh, wrong way. Track. It's definitely bending in the wrong way. One second. <clears throat> Which way does it need to bend? Wrong one. So this bone isn't parented to anything. I think we'll just parent that. Would that cause problems? Yeah, it would. I think I'm going to have to create an extra bone from here. There we go. So this is the same parenting. Okay. Flip the controls here. So that would move the whole arm. Yeah. This is going to have to be renamed to upper arm master.l. Because that moves the entirety of that arm. There we go. And then this would be parented to that.
There we go. So she can move her arm. Certainly not perfect. I will definitely give it that. The pole's definitely going to want to do some wild shit. But now it's not incumbent on the rotation of the wrist. So if we wanted to do walking animation... I just realized one of the reasons why the pole rotations are so funky... It's because the rotations of the bones are all out of whack. This is... Oh, Jesus Christ. How did I not notice that until just now? The poles, the, 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 the roll of the bones are all wrong. Oh, boy. That's not good. Oh, wait, no, they're... That's just the IK. Huh? How's that even... How's that even happen? Okay. Whatever. Sure. Okay. Well, we are going to add some properties to this so that way it has drivers that can control the switch between IK and FK. So let's just kind of pose these in some random way. Out. And we'll go to the mechanical bone. But no, no, that's the mechanical bone. And then this. I just realized I didn't do the system for the spine yet, which I'll get to it. It'll be fine. So for the switch for the IK bones, we're gonna to need to go into custom properties and make a property here in the cog bones um, custom properties. And we're gonna to need to make five of them actually because one's gonna be for the spine. So this will be, No, let's keep them into let's keep them floats so that way we can tween between them make it smoother um so this is fk ik um arm dot l there we go we'll do that this is the right arm There's the leg, the right leg, and then here's the spine. There we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the <clears throat> individual mechanical bones here. And we're going to copy this as a driver and paste this into the influence of the bottom one, which is the IK driver. These are all bound to the IK, so therefore, when I paste this into the influence, and I turn off that, it turns, it's, it changes the influence 
of the FK and IK and swaps it linearly to the FK. We'll do that for all of these now. Or is it copy as driver? There we go. So now we have our drivers for all that, and now I just need to set up for how the spine should work. And how should the spine work indeed? this should all come together now I do know that we are going to want phone way out here that and then we'll parent this to that. There we go. This is the head target bone. There we go. That'll be apparent at that. That'll be apparent at that. This should be able to detach, actually. There we go. Okay. Pretty sure this should have an inverse kinematic with the chain set to one. Hmm. That is a problem because uh, that is parented, so therefore that's going to cause a problem. Oh, I know. We need a new bone here. There we go. So now I can move that without having the, any of the other problems. Let's do 
Copy location. Oh, wrong way. Copy location, set that to tail. There we go. So now, no matter what, I cannot dis disconnect that. And then, of course, this controls the entirety of the upper body. So turn that on. seem to be on the frets. So these... These bones right here, the FK and the IK, are parented to their own respective FK, IK spine. Um, problem is, is because I can swap between the two, and I might have FK on one arm and IK on the other, if one system's activated, it won't follow the other one. So instead, these need to be parented to the spine of these ones. Okay. Okay. There we go. So we're using at the moment. Should still be, yeah. There we go. So now the arms follow the spine regardless of what uh, system we're using for the spine. going to do is we're going to take the head target and we're going to set this to uh, damp tracking. Uh, let's flip it back the right way so it's not break her neck. There we go. So now when I, when I move this, it moves her head and her head will follow it. It's good. And I need to sneeze. And it's not, <clears throat> uh, it's not gonna come. Oh God. That's, ah, ah. This sucks, one second. Ah. Ah. That's miserable. Uh, okay, so I need to add two more. I need to add two more properties. Okay, so this bone, this one's called, um, This will turn on head tracking entirely. And then this one will toggle for the neck. There we go. So. You know, I think that if I just get rid of this, this will put it above. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we need to paste that in there and that in there. 
There we go. But we also need to take this, copy that as a driver, and then go inside it, set it to a scripted expression, paste set expression, and then multiply the head tracking toggle by the head tracking neck thing. So now I can turn that down a bit and then I can adjust how much her neck would follow. To a degree. And then I think even to a degree I could put one here, put a damp tracking on this. Let's make it big like that. Okay. So in this, we're gonna add a we're gonna add two more. You know what? I think I'm I'm getting a bit too big for my britches. Let's not do that. If I want to turn her <clears throat> so as to have her face away when I want her to, I'm not gonna do that through the IK. We'll just you know, rotate the bone. It'll be fine. We'll just you know. This is parented to the COG. That's parented to the COG. You should not beat that. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Master IK neck. There we go. Well, actually, no, that's the head. That's what I'm looking for. I thought if I wanted to have her turn her body, I mean, I could just do that. There we go. Ugh. we have the character's rig now. It's done. It's close to... This is as good as I'm gonna get it. Or want to work on it. I'm not gonna fuck with it much further. I wanted to animate her now. I think I could just like copy paste her into an area. At least I should. Yep. All right. 
let's set an object constraint. Uh, this is going to follow the location of this character rig following the root bone. I think I'm just going to delete that. I don't think we're really going to go outside of the bounds of this area. And this is her shadow. Don't need that either. I do need to set up a displacement to kind of give vertex snapping effect kind of going here. All right, this character set a displacement. <laughs> Jesus. Um, set to the direction uh, RGB to Z. Uh, I guess we'll set a new texture. We'll set it to Veronoi. Uh, set it to position. Which one am I looking for? Color? Yeah, sure. Give it contrast and saturation. That's what we'll do. And then go back. We'll set this to an object, specifically the camera. And then we're going to reduce the strength. I think we get some snapping going on there. A little bit. Okay. Let's just do a little test here. Don't know how many frames it'll be. Um, there we go. Let's put her in like a kind of arms crossed pose, I suppose. Um, if I want to. So that would be, I'm going to have her arms kind of crossed like this, and then she can like turn with her arms sort of moving with her. So for that to work, okay. Arms will use IK, legs will use FK. Uh, we'll fall IK. Yeah, we'll also... We'll clear those two properties. Those were not necessary. If 
think what we'll do now, since we have the option, um, I think we'll now also split this up into arm la like layers. So this, uh, let's put that over there. Oh, right. That is the left side after all. Okay, there's the left side. Put that right there. There we go. Well, hold up now. There we go. And then this will go right there. All right. All right, then we'll take these and set them to their own respective area. There. There we go. All right, so if I wanted the left and right arms, the legs, and then the spine, that's how we do it. We're going to have to use some shape keys to fix that, unfortunately. Not surprising. Okay, so arms should be locked like that. My goodness. Oh, thanks, Akiva. Oh, man. These... These, these streaming noises are just so damn loud. I, I gotta turn this down one second. How do I do that? Is it OBS 64? One of these is has one of these has to turn down the volume. Let me try that again, one second. There we go. So much better. Thank you, Akiba. Alright. Ah. Oh, that's deafening. Okay, so that's off. <clears throat> oh. 
let's set these back to stick. We could even use blend keys to like, the, you know, clench the hands or whatever, since we're not using anything to, you know, do anything special for that. There we go. Okay, so let's, let's say poser over that way. For whatever reason, my headphones are like struggling to like listen to music as well as um, stream for whatever reason. I don't know why they just they won't play music sometimes. Like it'll just stop, and like I, and I won't be able to hear anything. One second. What's going on here? Oh, someone messaged me. Oh, I didn't realize they had audio. Okay. I'll look at that in a bit. Never mind. Someone messaged me. All right. I kind of want to record this at maybe 12 frames a second, so that way it's a little bit more j janky in terms of how to look on the um, overlay. Yeah, it's recording at 30 frames a second. I don't want that to begin with. I think I'll set this down to, I'm gonna try 16 frames a second. So this would correspond to about four seconds and some change. <clears throat> there we go. It's, I, I kind of wanted to make sure that my, my chat wasn't frozen. That doesn't seem to be the case. Give it a refresh. There we go. It's fine. All right, set that to end. Oh, that's come on, please do that. Now this is a really shitty animation because there's no, I'm not using arcs, it's just tweening from one place to another. Very not impressive at all. 
Like, I, I, I'm really not really caring at the moment that it looks like shit. I'm going to get into keep posing at some point or another. But I'm just kind of curious to see how this would look overlaid just in general right now. So, if I hit render, yeah, it does show up. <clears throat> and the output should be in character overlay. There we go. Save this. And then we will render this out. It's going to take a minute. Uh. Yeah, rendering is one of the things in Blender that you can't really do on a stream because it takes a lot of computer processing power. Um... So it's also one of the most boring aspects of the stream because we're just sitting here looking at it go and doing its thing without anything else. Um, I have been streaming for about two hours. I might take a break here in a bit. I haven't ate, so I'll probably need to cook something. Um, I will probably go shortly but um yeah i'll i'll try rendering this out yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna call it stops here in a bit and then here in maybe a couple hours i'll come back do some animation i'm gonna take a break um We'll figure out what we're doing in terms of animation and then we'll we'll get this fixed yeah i don't even have the blend keys fixed for her arms the her her shoulders just kind of clip through the fabric so that's not even that's not even fixed oh well So we put this in the sequencer. Take the character. We're in the character overlay. Fit to view. And then we set this strip to speed control uh, because the output is not the same as how we re how we recorded it. Jeez, this music is stanky. This is. Whew. Okay, I, I I got distracted. Um... So this should be about. I believe it was four seconds and yeah. Oh, it's a sound font. That's why I thought it sounded strange. Yeah, I didn't. I expected that to be the overworld music from Mario 3. I didn't realize it was... Uh, I didn't realize they were just swapping out the sound fonts. Yeah, this is playing back at six frames a second. That's a bit stanky compared to the actual... 24 frames a second it's supposed to be playing back at. So if we could render this out as a GIF. Try this.
You can also use a cough drop right now. <laughs> okay, it seems to be good. Let's see how the playback is. I think it's loading. That's the lo that's the gift. What the? There's just like there's just like a jump scare where it's just like boop. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I thought I saw that frame, but it just kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from. Actually, is there like a? Yeah. I'm really not sure where that came from. It must be some kind of like res residual something or other from when I was testing it earlier. So if I saved and refreshed it, it probably wouldn't have that. But where'd it go? Uh, fucking oh, the view files. But I think this is. All right. Yeah, we didn't have that like little jump there. But I think this is decent enough in terms of execution that I can figure out where to go from here. Because this is probably going to be like a minute or two or three animation of her just kind of walking around and sitting on the bed, getting up, kind of going over to the door. Um, yeah, it does. It's um, it's there's not enough pixels to work with, which I think also happens in the Resident Evil games when the the characters are far away. They Features just don't show up. So, yeah. That's good for now. I need to get like a cough drop for my throat. And I will be seeing you guys later. Probably sometime later today. I'll continue this. Um, yeah. That being said... Appreciate y'all coming. Maybe in a couple hours I'll be back. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to see you guys later. Appreciate everyone showing up. Sorry for the raid, all the nonsense that happened. So, thank you everyone again. 